Hello YouTube, this is Harmon Hart. It's uh, January the 28th, 2016. I want to catch you up on the latest progress on the S12. I've got quite a bit done on it. I've been working really hard, so I'm just going to kind of hit you with the highlights of uh, what I've got done since the last time. Okay, I've got all my cooling system redone. I've got the throttle cables ran for the throttles, and I've got all of the mechanical synchronization done. I've got the Key West voltage regulator uh, wired. I, of course, got the BRS parachute put in. I've got my uh, antenna for my aircraft radio uh, installed and the wires run. I've got the larger dash installed with most of my instrumentation. Uh, and I've got all my switches ran for the um, fuel pump and for the radios and the master solenoid switch. Um, I've ran all the uh, new tubing for my uh, airspeed indicator and got all the primer lines run from the last time. Got battery cables ran, master solenoid in, fuse box in. Of course the hydraulic brakes are in and working fine. I've got the belly pan back on the machine again. So that part's done. The nose cone is resecured. And so the machine is starting to look whole. I've just got to put the uprights for the doors in and the doors back on to be complete with that. Now I took the seats off that other RANS that was donated to me because the fabric is in better shape. This one has a couple little tears in it. And I took them home and washed them and I'm gonna be exchanging those later. Um, I've also got the uh, fuel pump done and all the fuel line run and I've got it all stubbed into this filter right here for where the wing tanks will dump into the system. So the wing tanks are going to come through this filter into the gas escalator where it's filtered again. It's going to go down through that hose down to the uh, electric fuel pump and then it's going to go out there and up to the pneumatic fuel pump here. And then from there, it's going to go through these two lines to the carburetors. Um, this is the pulse line. It's ran. Uh, all the wires are hooked up for the magnetos, for the kill, for the tack. Uh, everything is working. I also have the starter solenoid mounted and wired and flyback diode uh, installed. And that's, oh, I got my uh, control sticks put in with the uh, push to talks. I've got that all wired and ran and uh, ready for my radio. So I, inst I also installed this little voltmeter. Now it doesn't go there, I've just got to sit there. It's going to, when this is all put back together, it's going to end up going right there. But uh, that has a, that's a little show chrome item. It's made for gold wing motorcycles. It's got a, a clock, a timer, a voltmeter, and an outside air temperature gauge, and a, a ice warning indicator. It's got a lot of neat little things. It was about $14, so I'll uh, enjoy that. I also uh, opted for a second hour meter, and this hour meter is going to be for engine hours. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll catch up with y'all when I get some more done and get it put back together and, and keep you up to date. This is January the 28th, 2016.